So it's Saturday morning. Um, I hope you can hear this okay because it is a bit breezy. Um, but we are down at the plot and we're going to do a quick plot update because it looks like we've had quite a few things that have grown quite a bit, Paul. Yeah, our, our perpetual spinach is doing really well. Um, that's, that's really good. We're going to be cropping some of that and I think making a spanakopita with some of that, which will be nice. So this is here? Here. Yeah, it does look good. Very leafy, Paul. It is, and of course you can um, blanch it and freeze it. We usually just cook it down in a bit of butter and then freeze it in little blocks that we can then just take out of the freezer and have. Lovely. So this is our um, calabrese. Some of it has flowered, which is fine, but we've got others. There's one here. That's looking nice in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, we can. And there's about five of those. There's another one there, there, two, three. In fact, there's six in there, so that's doing really well. Then, in fact, this is um, shallots. This bit of plastic here and this bit of plastic here are actually some of my markers. So I need to put proper, proper um, markers in there. So this is shallots. Then here is our leeks. Um, but Jane Kelly has also had a, an issue. Everyone seems to be having an issue this year with Allium leaf miner, and we're no exception. Let me just go in front of the camera. These down here, you can see, have gotten twisted, and that is caused by Allium leaf miner. I'm not sure we can see that, but. I'll pull that out. So that twisting and that, that is caused by Allium leaf miner. So what we're going to do is have those out. This is our beetroot. This is Cylindra beetroot, which has been multi-sown in modules. And of course you can use the, the leaves as spinach as well. So that's beetroot at the back. We can see those beautiful leaves, very glossy. And at the front you've planted? This is onions. Onions at the, at front. the front, okay. And you can see there's one coming up here. Maybe oh, that has so been... something's been dug. Dug up by a fox. Yeah, okay. Carrots. Carrots looking very fluffy. And we've been eating these. Um, they're producing decent carrots. If you can see in there. Oh, it's a little bit in shadow down there. I'm not sure we're going to be able to pick that up. Um, probably not, but that's okay. It's difficult to see in the sun. Maybe you can see here. There's none coming out of the ground. There's one there. I don't know if you can see those. No, again, that's too in shadow, right, but okay. that's okay. So Everybody knows what a carrot looks yeah. like. Here we have more onions. In this bed in here, this, there's this onions, here. yeah, okay. This one is one of the next things to do. Uh, needs to be tidied up, needs to be weeded again. And actually, I was going to put field um, beans in here, but we're actually gonna cover it in, in cardboard for the winter um, and not do field beans here this year. Okay, I see the litchi are still they are. flowering. They're still flowering. I'm not sure whether they will for much longer. Ow, ow, ow. I'm not sure if they will for much longer. But they produce they seed? The or seed will they produce so seed? Tiny. It's, in that, it's in that tiny little red so berry. it will produce seed? Yes, we've got some seed. We've saved some seed. Sunflowers still there. Yep. As you can see, the big heads, I think most of the seeds have been eaten then. Yeah. Okay, well, can't they come now? They could come down, but I quite like them. Okay. Then in here, we have some at the back, we 
got turnips. So turnips there. Which actually I've never grown turnips before. Then we've got cabbage. Cabbage here. in the middle. And looking pretty apart from the bits that have been nibbled on. But the these are ones where you take leaves off. They don't form a head. They're oh, Croatian, right. Croatian. So what are these red ones at the front here? That's chard. Chard. Lovely. Oh yeah, beautiful. I don't think really you can see those um, lovely red centres there. Beautiful. And what's that one there? That's a That glossy a white, one. It's a white chard, Swiss white chard. Oh, that looks lovely. Beautiful leaves. Glossy. Okay. Then we've got a few more calabrese in here. And then we've got the smaller plants. Hope in here. you can see that. Smaller plants are uh, Cavallo Nero. Okay. And this is our. It's an Indian kale, it's a perennial kale. And Vivi's been talking about perennial kale. She's got a uh, is it Taunton Deal, Dean perennial kale. So this is actually uh, Indian perennial kale that was given to us by one of our neighbours. So that's really ripe for harvesting. And what happens is you, what happens in here is you get side shoots. Hold on, let's, oh yeah, we can see this, the sort of newer colour. This here. Yeah, the darker green colour. And there's one here as well. Yeah. You let that grow till it's about, the stalk is about four or six inches long, and then you cut it off and you can propagate it. This Great. will last, um, this should last about three years before it needs sorting out. And then in here we have got some Red onions, which again have been dug up. Dug up. But, you know, Should you not happens. be protecting the bed then? It's there's plenty in there. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. And then here we've got our parsnips, parsnips. which are Guernsey half long. Oh, I think we can just see. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, we can see that, that looks lovely. Mmm, great. So we've got a good, I think there's about 30 in there. Okay, and good. We'll go to the top plot now, we're just gonna turn you off and come back. So we're um, at the top plot now, and uh, again, apologies for any wind noise. I have tried to uh, put the wind noise reduction on to try and stop it, but apologies if you don't hear us. So here we've got garlic, this is a garlic bed. You but saw us doing this garlic. We said that we were going to leave the nasturtiums in because well, they were still in flower and then when the frost came it would get them. Yeah. Well, the frost has come and it's gone. And what them. are you going to do, just dig just them in? Just leave them there. Just Not let them rot. Anything. Just let them rot. They're okay. fine. They're fine. Little yeah, calendula. Yeah, calendula, that's fine. Over here, this is where we planted all of our onions. We did have one onion that came up within about three days, which seems to have vanished. Well, it's probably um, been got by a pigeon. Got by a pigeon, yeah. And then the rest of the, the site needs uh, quite a lot of work. The rest of the plot needs quite a lot of work. This is where we're going to put in a raised bed, where our courgettes were. Right. And so that's here. We're going to put this a new raised bed in here. Or it's actually an edge bed. I call it an them edged raised, bed. It's yes. Edged bed, yeah. Um, and then we're going to uh, put another one in over there. Over on the where? Other side. Okay. So we're going to put one in in here. Yeah. And. Um, and then the, the rest of the things, you can see we've got a lot of detritus here. The compost bin is um, ready to be emptied and actually all of that compost is going to go onto this bed here, the one that we're going to put the raised bed in, which is why I want to do the edge bed today. So we're um, going to be getting on with that shortly? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I think we should just make a start. There's not much else to tell. No. I mean, those are... What are those? Cabbages? These are our Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Which are doing okay. The, the frost seems to have got most of the white fly on that. We've got some cabbages beyond uh, where we had our peppers in this area here. The pepper plants, the fruits we took off and the pepper plants were got by the frost that evening. So I'm glad we got the peppers out. So that needs a good tidy. And then obviously we're going to be taking down these buddleias quite significantly this year during the, the winter months. Right, okay. Well, That's let's it. get on with doing the work. Yeah. job I've been wanting to do for a year and yes they need leveling off just a little bit and we over, on this one over here that's where our raw beans are going to be this year and on this one down here what we will do is we will put cardboard down two layers of cardboard down we'll um, make uh, overlap the edges so that it's about six inches wider than the actual beds and that will keep weeds down and then we will um, fill this with compost and then we'll have another raised bed or edge bed. The reason that I like the edge beds, I've said before, I'm sure I just find them much easier to work and they seem to pick up a lot less weeds than um, if it's flat on the ground. Not sure why other people prefer it. Our plot neighbour next door prefers it direct on the ground. Really pleased, really pleased. Thank you, Richard. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Right, we're going to go home and have tea now. Yeah. Right, we're going home for a tea. Bye for now. Bye.